All right, so March is National Athletic Trainers Month. My name is Hugh Blocker, and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about the profession. An athletic trainer is a member of the medical health care team. Uh, as an allied health care professional, we're able to provide primary care, whether it's evaluation of an injury as it happens, soon after it happens. Athletic trainers are someone who is generally on scene pretty soon thereafter, whether it's at a field or an industrial complex or here even in a clinical environment. Um, athletic trainers are someone who is skilled and educated enough to make a decision to make an evaluation based upon what they watched and what they've seen happen. Athletic trainers are also great at, um, at therapeutic intervention. We provide therapy for athletes, for members of the community, depend, like from young to old, um, working with 80 year old patients who want to be able to mow their lawn and go for walks and have their social life all the way down to working with the middle school athletes that are part of like that are competing in soccer, football, um, gymnastics, any of those types of things. An athletic trainer is someone who has a broad scope of practice and can step in and figure out what is the best way to help someone get back to their sport or get back to work um, or get back to life in the best way possible. Another thing athletic trainers are really good for is we're really, really um, skilled at community education, uh, whether that's educating our patients directly in a one-on-one -on -one setting or that's showing up to the local 5K and teaching kids about what it means to be active and stretching. An athletic trainer is someone who can, be, who can be there to engage with the community on a group or an individual basis and just, uh, yeah, be, become someone that the community can turn to and look to and trust um, for their healthcare needs. So why did I become an athletic trainer? Uh, it's a great question. So I became an athletic trainer because I really enjoy being present when an injury happens and then helping see that injury all the way through, whether that's through the initial phases of management, before surgery, after a surgery, um, freshly off a sprained ankle, or going all the way through to returning to play or returning to life. I really enjoy being able to see a patient through all of those processes. When I was working at the division one level, that was 18 to 22 year old athletes and some athletes that were moving on to become pros and those types of things in their perspective sports. Now here in North of Virginia in the clinical setting, um, that looks more like working with athletes that are middle school, high school age that are trying to get back on the football field, back in the gym, um, just back to recovering from anything, even something like a concussion, working as part of the concussion team. Um, and then I get to work with 70, 80 year old athletes, or athletes, patients, um, who, yeah, who just want to continue to live the life that, that they've grown accustomed to, whether that's on a farm, whether that's in their own home, whether that's here in the community, being able to accomplish the tasks that they're used to accomplishing. Um, so why did I become an athletic trainer? I think that's grown over the years, but ultimately it was to be able to help people um, recover from and regain their, their strength, their mobility, their activity levels after an injury. So what do I like best about being an athletic trainer? Um, I really, really like being able to connect with my patients on an individual level. Um, whether that's a young kid or that's an older adult who has things to teach me. I think the coolest part about being an athletic trainer is that I'm able to step into a number of different settings and connect immediately with those people that I've been asked to help uh, recover from an injury, recover from an illness, recover from something along those lines. Um, so the thing I like most about being an athletic trainer is definitely connecting and then providing the care afterwards for, the, for my patients. So what do I like best about helping patients? Um, I just think one of the coolest things about helping patients is that each time someone walks through the door, their story, their injury, their needs is different. So each and every day I'm challenged, whether it's concussion walking through the door, trying to regain balance, trying to regain um, the ability to do schoolwork or look at a computer screen for hours upon end, um, to walking down the road, to being able to drive again those patients each come with their own needs, with their own wants, their own desires. Um, so I think it's one of the coolest things about helping patients is that you know part of the evaluation process is asking, what are the things that you want to accomplish most out of your session or out of your therapy? And I think one of the coolest parts is that each person is different. So one of the coolest parts about helping patients is getting to touch base with people from all walks of life with all different needs, with all different expectations and getting to help them uh, accomplish their goals. 
So what do I wish more people knew about athletic training? Um, I think ultimately the thing that I wish people knew more about the profession um, is I wish people saw athletic trainers, not just someone who tapes an ankle, not someone who just puts an ice pack on um, a body part, not just someone who runs on the field during a football game. And while those are all great things, those are all things that bring the profession to light. I do wish that more people knew athletic trainers are skilled healthcare professionals who have a ability to not only diagnose an injury, um, to look at an injury early on, but also to be able to help the progression um, back to activity, back to life. And I also think uh, one thing I wish people knew about athletic training was that it's more than just being on an athletics field. I think the name of our profession puts us in this box where people think we're a personal trainer or people think we belong on an athletic field. But at the end of the day, there's athletic trainers um, in our ORs, here in our durable medical goods, here in our PT clinics, out in the industrial settings. And I think it's really cool to see how widespread the profession has become um, since its inception, but also just in recent years. So as more and more press comes to the profession through sports, I think that's great. But I also think it's really important to know that athletic trainers are probably in more settings than you even realize all around you.